Hi, this is Nagma from Imagine Crafts, and I'm going to show you how to make this flowered thank you card. For the card base, I've already cut and scored a piece of dark green cardstock. I've made it A2 size, which is 5.5 by 4 and a quarter inches. For the layering piece, I cut a piece of white cardstock that is slightly smaller, so about a quarter inch of green cardstock will show on all sides. And the first step is to co color our white cardstock. I'm using Versamagic ink in purple hydrangea to get a nice deep purple color and make sure you get the sides of the cardstock as well. Set your cardstock aside to dry and now we're going to color the flower. I've already stamped my flower onto white cardstock with a rubber stampede stamp. I used Versafine ink in onyx black and then as you can see I cut around the flower to leave this white border. To color a flower what we're going to do is take some Goosebumps texture spray. This is in the shimmer finish. Pour a little bit onto your mat. Then take Versamagic in Spanish Olive and smear some ink onto the mat. Then take a Fantastics applicator. This is in the brush tip. And blend the goosebumps with the ink. So you get a nice green color, as deep as you'd like. Now I'm going to dip my Fantastics brush into the goosebumps and just paint right over the leaves. Once you're done with the leaves, use the same technique for the flower petals. Pour a little bit of goosebumps onto your mat, and we're going to use Versamagic and Purple Hydrangea. Just blend your goosebumps with your ink. And paint right on your petals. There is my colored in flower, and I put on two layers of the goosebumps in order to give it that nice, both the nice rich color from the ink, but also to make it really look nice and textured. Next, for the ribbon embellishment, I've cut a piece of white grosgrain ribbon slightly longer than the width of the card. And we're going to color this with Versamagic in Spanish Olive. Just apply directly to the ribbon to get that nice deep green color. Now we're going to set this aside to dry. Next, stamp your sentiment. This is a Fisker stamp, which I used with Versafine in Onyx Black on a piece of white cardstock. And then I cut around it to make a small rectangle. Now it's time for assembly. I've already applied adhesive to my layering pieces. I'm going to start with my piece of purple cardstock. Just eyeball that so it's about in the center. Next, I'm going to apply the ribbon. And I'm just going to put that slightly above the edge, the bottom edge of purple cardstock. Then for my flower, I've used dimensional adhesive on this. I'm just going to angle this maybe a little bit like that. And finally, my sentiment, I've also applied dimensional adhesive to that. Stick that right on there. And then the final step is just trim the edges of your ribbon so that they are flush with the edges of the card. And you have your nice flowered thank you card. For more great projects, visit Imagine Crafts on Facebook, Pinterest, and at imaginecrafts.com.